You're driving drunk. I backed up my car. You've been drinking. I backed okay. up my you car. You can't drive. A repeat drunk driver decides he's not going down again. Deputies say he was seen crashing into a concrete barrier on the highway, then nearly hitting a patrol car. But this repeat drunk driver did not think he should be arrested. News 13's Lizay Mitri has the video. Dean Jessica, he told deputies he didn't do anything wrong. Even after moving his car in front of them, he said he wasn't driving, he was just backing out. What's going on, sir? Santa Fe County Sheriff deputies found William Corbine parked in front of his home off Highway 84 285 near Pewaukee last week. How'd you get here? Uh, by the, a friend that's driving me and then he dropped me off so I just kind of got in the front. That's not when a 911 caller reported. Seeing Corbine's car crash into a concrete center barrier. Deputies talked to Corbine's girlfriend to get the story straight. And we were like, well, he's going to come back, so. That's the car starting. Deputies went running, saying later Corbine nearly hit the patrol car while backing out. Step out of the car. Step out of the car. I just backed Step out. Step out of the car. There's a struggle as deputies try to cuff him. You're driving drunk. I backed up my car. You've been drinking. I backed up my you car. You can't drive. No! Francis, he did nothing wrong. No! no. This, is, this is aggressive arrestedness. Corbine didn't want to listen to deputies. No, let's just, I'm not let's listen just to you guys. Guys. No. To I'm not. No. But he sure wanted them to listen to him. You're a big dog, huh? <laughs> he tried to catch them in a mistake. You never gave me a breath test. So what is it going to be? And brag that he's going to get the charges dropped. Charges for resisting arrest and aggravated DWI to follow his three previous DWI convictions and a slew of mug shots he's collected over the years. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah! Yeah! Deputies said Corbine refused a breathalyzer and said he was later taken to the hospital for a blood draw where deputies say he threw himself on the floor and shouted. Back to you. All right, thank you, Lizay. Today, the governor launched a new Twitter account called NMDWI Watch to keep people posted about DWI cases. It's supposed to ensure serial drunk drivers like Corbine aren't getting off too easy by putting pressure on the judges who will know the public will be watching.